On the Capitol Watch, Idaho Democratic leaders say something has to be done to give homeowners a break from rapidly rising property taxes. The House and Senate minority leaders laid out their priorities for the 2020 legislative session during the taping of this Sunday's Viewpoint with Doug Peck Cash. House Minority Leader Alana Rebell says they've been hearing a lot of concerns about property taxes from their constituents. But I think we need to have a really honest and informed conversation about the causes of why property taxes have been going up because it's a very multilateral discussion. Um, but it's been driven, I think, in very large part by the state's failure to fund education adequately at the top level, which has forced um, local government to have to pass bonds and levies, which raise people's property taxes. She says a state needs to restore the indexed property tax exemption and update the circuit breaker. The circuit breaker would protect seniors and low income homeowners from paying too high of a percentage of their income on property taxes. Another big issue is transportation. Governor Brad Little proposed $100 million in new funding for roads and bridges, but Senate Minority Leader Michelle Stennett says more needs to be done. Given all the growth that we're seeing in Idaho, particularly in this area, and also up in Coeur d'Alene and other places in the state, we need to be talking about safety and uh, better roads and bridges, but also talking about infrastructure with water and sewer and education and health care with the population increase in the state. We'll need to be addressing that in the future. The Democratic leaders also have strong opinions on education programs and funding, prison overcrowding, and how Medicaid expansion should be funded going forward. You can hear their ideas this Sunday morning at 630 on Viewpoint here on KTVB.